All right, the only thing that we have left is the, the table. And I'm going to do the styling of the table in this video. We'll give the table um, an ID. It's going to be user users table. I'm going to add that in the, in the code. Um, this is where the table is. Um, it's just going to be class or ID. Now, when to use class, when to use ID. Well, if it's just one element and you, uh, you just want to adjust to a single element, you can use ID. You can also use class. You've seen me use uh, class for, for single elements. Uh, if you want to have more than one element, then you don't have a choice. You have to use um, ID for sure. Uh, so it's really up to you which one you prefer when it's just one element. I usually use ID for, for like more important elements that I consider that are like core parts. And classes, I tend to think that I might reuse them later on. Um, so there's no really a fixed uh, criteria. It's really up to you. Uh, um, strictly speaking, the, regarding the semantics, a class should have more than one because it's, or it could potentially have more than one. But if you know for sure there won't be another one, you could use an ID as well. Um, so I want to give this table. Uh, First of all, if I'm if I'm addressing the table element, I uh, and I define margins and all of that stuff. It has to do with the to with the t entire table, not with um, the single cells. So we'll style the table first, the the outside, and then we'll go inside and do styling for the actual cells and the headers. You already know how to select elements now that are inside another element. So we'll um, keep on using that so that um, it consolidates in, in your head. Margins, I want to give this um, margin on the top of 10 and auto on the sides, that means centering. The font weight, which we said it was bold. In here, I don't want it to be bold, I just want it to be normal. And we can also define a width of 100% so that uses up all the space it can. Now regarding the headers, users table and then th, that's how I'm, I'm selecting the, the headers. See how they're being selected in here. I want those to have a border in the bottom, just in the bottom, so that they look nice and I'm giving them this color. I want to have the, I want them to have a padding so that the cell has some separation with the text of two pixels. And I would like the text to be aligned in the center. It's already been aligned in the center, but I, I want to force it just in case the browser is not doing it for me. That's for the headers. And now regarding the, the other the other tape the other cells. I'm going to select them using this same methodology and they're also going to have a padding of two pixels and I also want them to have to be aligned in the center. So that's uh, that's about it for, for styling our, our table and for styling our, our example. Um, so what you have now is uh, just some sort of a sample um, web page or home page or, or web app or mobile app and I've made it a bit uh, responsive so that you can understand this concept as well of how things can can adjust to a screen resolution and how you can set up like a, a maximum so you don't want this to keep on expanding to the sides um, and I think this covers pretty much uh, all of the basics of HTML and CSS so what I would recommend you to do now is to start um, making a make working on your own projects. Hopefully you you've started already, and wish you the best of luck um, in regards of um, of these um, projects that you can make and how you can make uh, your wireframes now, um, or this can be your uh, entry point to to learning more more programming, which is what I would strongly recommend. Um, but anyway, you're capable now of making just very simple prototypes that, that you can show uh, or use for different things.